What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here, and in this video we're going to be going over the specifications of the new LG Phoenix 4. So without further ado, let's get started. So at the moment at least, the LG Phoenix 4 is an AT&T prepaid exclusive. So when you buy this phone, it's going to be locked to AT&T prepaid, and you can buy it for $59.99. So that's a really good price. Now, this device features a 5-inch display coming in at 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The display is a 720p display as well, so you want to keep that in mind. And there, of course, is no notch on the top, so that's great to see because it seems like nowadays notches are more and more common. The device also features a 5-megapixel camera on the top. And the device features 16 gigabytes of internal storage with the ability to expand that with a micro SD card. There is no wireless charging with this device, and despite there being a button on the back, that is not a fingerprint sensor. The rear camera here is 8 megapixels, which is pretty good, but there is no portrait mode on either the rear or front cameras. This device features 2 gigabytes of RAM and is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 processor. Video recording for the LG Phoenix 4 is topped out at 1080p at 30 frames per second, and it features a battery of 2,500 milliamp hours. So it's a pretty big battery, especially considering that the device features a 720p display, which means that there's less pixels here that need to be pushed around by the device, and less pixels that need to be powered. The device runs Android 7.0 Nougat, and I'm sure there's going to be some sort of software update coming up in the future. So like I mentioned before, we have the 5-inch 720p display here on the front, and the display really does look good in my opinion. I mean really, despite it being only 720p, it does look good, the colors are nice, and overall if you watch a lot of movies or anything like that, you're still going to have a good experience here. There are pretty large bezels here though on the top and bottom. So if that's something that bothers you, especially nowadays, the trend's kind of moving towards a bezel-free or low amount of bezel design, then maybe you want to look elsewhere. But if you don't mind bezels, then it's not really a big deal at all. But in addition to the front-facing camera here on the top, we have the earpiece. Then on the bottom side here, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack. We have the micro USB port, and we have the microphone. Taking a look on the left side here, we just have the volume rockers. Then on the right side, we have nothing, but we do actually have this little tab to open up the back, which gives you access to the SIM card slot, micro SD card slot, and the battery. On the top, all we have is a noise canceling microphone. And then on the back side, we have that camera, like I mentioned before, that 8 megapixel camera. We have the flash, we have the power button, AT&T logo, LG logo, and the speaker. Now I do have a lot of videos on my channel that specialize showing specific parts of this device, but I did want to show you how YouTube videos perform on here, and you can decide on your own if this is a good device for people that watch a lot of YouTube. So we'll go over to YouTube right now. We'll go to my channel here. Kevin Breeze. There we go. And we'll play one of my recent videos. This is Kevin Breeze here. And the speakers do get pretty loud here. Comparing the new ZTE Blade Max View to the iPhone XS Max. Now both of these devices are available unlocked, so if you want to buy them, then definitely take a look at the link in the video description. So that's pretty awesome. I think overall this is a good device for YouTube, as you can see there. Uh, the picture is very clear, the colors are good on this device too, and a big surprise here is how good that speaker sounds. Let's also try a little bit of gaming while we're at it. We'll pull up Temple Run.
Uh oh. And I just lost. So as you can see, Temple Run performs very well on the LG Phoenix 4 as well. But all in all, I just wanted to kind of use this video to run over the specs, show you how the device performs from watching videos and playing some light games. And I'll let you decide if this is a good fit for you, but let me know down in the comments below if you would buy this. But again, this is Kevin Breeze here. Make sure to check out my other videos on my channel. I also have a lot of comparisons comparing this device to many of its competitors out there. So with all that being said, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.